Hi, and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, my name is Steve, and I'm going to be showing you how to create blog entries on the best content management system around Drupal. Uh, blogging is something that everybody's doing nowadays. It's hip as fresh as cool. Uh, so, uh, Drupal actually gives you a great way uh, to do it right out of the box. So, uh, what we're going to do is we had the Drupal, uh, the blog uh, module actually enabled, so that is actually underneath the core set of modules. So we'll go to site building modules just to show you that real quick. If my site wants to load here. Here we go. And uh, we're going to scroll down to the core and we'll see that here indeed is blog and that is enabled. So you want to enable that module. And to create a blog entry, we go up to content management, uh, create content blog entry. And it's basically the same process as creating a page. So when that loads, you just give it a title. Um, let's say you are the... And you can I actually make that a menu link title as well, just like we did on the page. But usually on blog entries, you don't want to make it a menu link title uh, menu link. So we're just going to you know, pass that up. We'll go down to body. And I'll enter some text here for the body. And you can also, same as the page, you can enter in as full HTML. Say if you want to embed video from Google or YouTube or something like that. Um, do something funky. But we're going to keep it on filtered HTML because I do want to show you how to how it converts links into um, actual links when you... Um, save your page. So I'm just going to enter google.com and this should turn into a link uh, right when we save the page. Remember to enter in your meta tags just like we did in the page uh, tutorial. Give you keywords and descriptions so that people are able to find, uh, say if you're talking about something someone is searching for, they'll be able to find this page. Under URL path settings, uh, I just keep it the same as the title. So it was you are the and make sure your comments are read, write, enabled because uh, on blog entries you do want to get comments and you know what people want to comment on what you're saying. So this just offers a new realm of interactivity for your website. And Google or Drupal does a good does a good job of that. So we're going to hit save right now. Let's see what happens. And as you can see, uh, here's our blog entry, and it actually puts in who and what time it was posted, which is kind of cool, and who put the blog on here, the blog entry, and you're able to add comments, and plus this Google link actually works, so we're going to click on that, and yep, it does work. But we kind of want the um, comment controls below the comments here on the uh blog entry. So what we're going to do is just like we did for a page, go to content management, uh, content types, and then edit blog entry. And we're going to scroll down all the way to comment settings. So we're going to leave it on read, write, thread list, expanded, newest, first, 50 per page. But we want the comment controls below the comment. And we want to... Um, preview comment is going to be optional. And we want to display... Uh, comment submission form below posts or comments. So that's what we've got to do. And we're going to save the content type. And as you can see, we're going to go back to our. Well, it loads up here. And as you can see, our blog. Wait, wait a minute. Where is our blog entry? We can't really see it. We want to wait for the users to actually see our blog posts. So uh, what we're going to do is we want to, if we want to hear on the sidebar, we're going to have to go to the blocks section. So go to site building blocks. And now we're able to add a little block to show those blog posts. And right here is where it is, recent blog posts. So we're going to make that in our left sidebar. You can actually drag this up there as well to the left sidebar. But we're going to just use this drop down and go left sidebar. And as you can see, it's up here. And we can move it around up here if we want. But we're just going to keep it there at the top. And I'm going to hit Save and see if our blog posts are visible. And there they are, recent blog posts. You are the sunshine of my life. And click on that, and there it is. 
But say we wanted to change this from recent blog posts to something else. We're going to go back to settings blocks where I am. Or I'm sorry, site building blocks. And then we're going to go to the left sidebar. We're going to find our recent blog posts. And we're going to actually configure that. Up in the block title, you can actually give it no title. Say if you typed in this, none, which is in the description below it. But you can also give it your own cool title or use the default one, which is entering nothing in the block, but we're going to say wacky blog. And that should change our title. We go down here to save that block, and it did. So we got a wacky blog here with all of our posts and with the newest first. And you can actually click on more to see little teasers of all those blogs as well underneath the same blog. And make sure um, for your comment settings, like we did last time on pages, your permissions are enabled so they're able to actually see the comments and actually uh, post them as well. So we got that enabled for anonymous users. And we're going to go up here to blog and make sure that uh, all of our permissions are okay with that and everything looks good. So that's just one way of how to use blogs. It's a really fast, light... Um, core module here in Drupal and uh, I think you can do a lot with it. So thanks for checking out my tutorial. Stay tuned for another tutorial.